Well, hello, my other lifers. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? Um, as you can see by the title, we have an Old Navy uh, workout pant haul. And I'm going to say right from the jump, I'm pretty freaking excited because I went down another size. And now these sizes, you know, not to dumb down my victory, but to some of you, you'll be like, that's still big. But it's that, it's small for me. Okay? So, shush. Um, before I jump in. Uh, Hi, clearly I'm Kimberly. Okay, and you're in my bedroom today. Don't look at my messy. I have no organization other than my purses. Um, my room is, it's a work in progress. You know what I mean? I got changes coming into my life. So I don't know what I'm doing with the room. I don't know how long I'm gonna be living here. Just so much is going on. Um, good stuff though, all good things. Um, so yeah, but we're up here because I want to put these away. I just got them in from the mail yesterday. I knew it's come to a time where it's time to size down in some of my workout pants. Um, if you're new here, I began a very, uh, you know, created by myself workout regime that I started literally on August 1st of 2022 and I work out six days a week. Um, I do give myself the rest day. Some would say that you need another rest day. I don't care. I like doing my six days. It has certainly um, amped up my energy. And that's one of the reasons why I will not skip more than one day. Um, it's not because I'll feel guilty if I do it. And I'm restricting myself. Something like that. It's just I've, I notice the difference in my energy. And it is something that I crave because I need it. Um, so, yeah. But long story short... Um, I'm a little more known on my other channel, which is manifesting with Kimberly. And one of the things I've been manifesting is weight loss. Um, but if you're not really sure about manifesting, you're probably going to want to go over to that other channel and there's a link in the Dropbox below for that. But with manifesting, one of the rules of manifesting is not constantly checking your 3D reality, which is the life and world around you to see if the manifestation is here. So my way of not checking the 3D reality is no longer getting on the scale. So I, in this moment, as I'm recording, do not remember the last time I got on the scale. It's definitely 100% been over a year. I'm just not going to. So maybe in the future I will. And if I do, I will share. But until then, no. So the last time I got on the scale, I was down 80 pounds. Um, I can comfortably tell you, I know I have must, I must have reached the over a hundred pound range because of the size difference in my clothes from that 80 pound lawns. Meaning I, I'm even down more since th that first 80 pounds gone. So I know I'm probably, I, I feel that 20 more pounds has definitely come off, if not more, um, so I'm willing to say I'm probably down over 100 pounds, but because I won't get on the scale, I'm not going to confirm it. Does that make any fucking sense? If you understand manifestation, that would make sense to you, but I'm just not willing because I know me, I know who I am. And if that number is not reflective of what I'm thinking it should be, it will upset me. It will trigger me and I'm not willing to give into that. So I just don't get on the scale. I just pay attention to how my clothes fit. And I will tell you, I am in a placement of most of my clothes don't fit anymore. So I've been buying things a little bit here and there, but I'm also holding off buying too much because I feel like I'm going to keep losing. And since I'm manifesting it now, what I guess I should say is I initially used to script, which is, that's a manifestation term. I used to script, AKA journal. I would write that I would weigh this, this certain weight amount. But I am no longer in that mindset. I don't care what the scale number is anymore. I, I don't really care exactly what number I'm into. I care on just how I'm looking and feeling. So my goal is not to be like 120 pounds. It's not my goal. I have no desire to be really thin. It's, that's no offense to thin people. That's not my goal. I don't want that. I'm 48 years old. I'm realistic. As I've been losing weight, my, you know, the wrinkly chin, <laughs> I see it. 
and, and now it's on my mind. I believe in manifestation and what you believe about yourself will be true. So I do have a belief and I'm aware of it that as people lose weight, their skin looks shittier, especially if they drop a lot like the people that have the surgeries. You know, like I said, this is no judgment. It's just fear for myself. It's just a fear for myself. So I have no desire. I'm not stupid. It is the fat padding that buys me time. In other words, I will, let me just say this off cuff. My boyfriend tells me that I look much older on video and in pictures, but how I look in real life, he says it's it's dramatically different. I'm like, okay, but I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not all dressed out. This is literally what I slept in last night. It's my pajama top. Um, there might be dirt on it. But what, what I'm trying to say is I have no desire to be super thin. I want to be a thick girl. I want thickness here because I want the fat padding. Okay, I want the free Botox from my fat. Yeah, okay. So I don't know when this journey ends, but I'm not going to ever restrict myself to a point of trying to be too skinny because I don't want it. It's not my goal. I'm hoping all of this is just, sounds a little rambly, right? It's an old Navy haul, but I'm just sharing that. So the size that I went down to, some of you are gonna be like, really bitch? Is, is extra large. However, I've never been able, I mean, not never, back, I was always a yo-yo dieter, hence this new way of dealing with losing weight and loving my body is different. I don't restrict myself anymore. But I'll make that in a video separate from this. But, okay, so, um, extra large was a, oh, oh, hell no. That was never an option for me, except for when I was yo-yo dieting in my younger years. So I have been a 223Xer for a while. And Old Navy, Old Navy has some weird sizes. Like they have the plus sizes, which start at 1X to 4X. Um, and then they have like um, like just women size, the women and the women plus, I think it's worded like that. So in the women sizes, I believe it's extra small. Maybe they have an extra, extra small, I'm not sure. Extra small to extra, extra large. And that extra, extra large is not the equivalent to the 2X from my purchasing experience. Who knows what the website says, so don't judge me. So my workout pants, anything in the 3X category range, they are no longer able to be workout pants because um, I pull my workout pants up to my boobs. I do, because uh, I have a shaky belly. That's gonna be in another video. Um, and I can't stand it when I am running, so. I pull them all the way up, like especially, I hopefully like they're a compression type band and they hold it in so I can run in peace and not knowing that all my jiggle is all over the place because it, it is distracting because I've tried, okay? So anything in the 3X range, donated. Um, 2X, they're on their way to be uh, donated because they're not, they're not workable anymore and they're swimming and they're just whatever. So I purchased two pairs of pants, no, sorry, four two pairs of workout pants. Now these are in the extra, extra large range. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was not really sure I was gonna be able to get into the extra large. I was scared. So I'm like, I better buy at least two extra, extra large just in case. But to be honest, they're loose, which is okay. Cause I'll just use them as, a, as around the house pants. I bought them, but this one in navy. This is a cropped pair. And I bought this pretty mauve pink and also extra, extra large. But these are the seven, seven eighths ankle. Now that'll be relevant in a minute. So I bought those two in extra, extra large. Then I bought these wide, wide, cropped wide leg leggings. Okay, I bought them in black and I bought them in navy. I'm going to insert a clip of me trying on the navy for you. Yes, I bought both of them an extra, extra large, and that was a mistake. Watch the clip. Okay. I dropped the ball on these. These are, what the? Um, <laughs> these are extra, extra large. This was stupid. I should have gotten the extra large. They're too big. They're meant to be a wide leg, wide leg. But yeah, I should have got the extra large. It's all right see why it was a mistake. So I, uh, I, 
have a feeling these are just going to become like pajama pants at some point. I don't even need any pajama pants, but I, I am not someone who wants to be bothered with returning shit. I know that sounds crazy. I'm not, I will make use of these, whether they're just banging around the house pants, probably. I should have got them in a smaller size because they're too big. However, now let's dabble in with the fun size of the extra, extra large. So the first pair I tried on, and I do have a clip of it, are, of course, they're inside out, Kimberly. Now, I actually already have these pants in the extra, extra large, and I love them. That's why I wanted them in the extra, in the regular extra large, so that when I'm ready, and I'm ready now, I have the pretty pink still. So I have these, and these are in the seven eighths of an ankle range, and... Here's the clip of me trying them on. I pull them up to cover my belly. But don't look at the rest of me. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I mean, when you're used to always being in a 2X, 3X, it feels good to be in just an extra large. You know what I'm saying? So there you go, okay? I'm very happy, I'm very excited. Don't judge my body, I'm still in, you know, I'm still losing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. I know it's not a big deal. It's a big deal to me though, okay? So those were the pink ones. And I, in that same, now this is, oh God, Kim, you're sucking today, okay. These are the extra high rise leggings, seven eighths of an ankle, power chill pants, they're called. And they are that go dry, light compression, hidden front pocket pants. Now I bought those, so the same exact ones, but I bought them in this pretty blue, same size, extra large. And are these the same ones? Yes. And I bought that same pink I showed you in the extra, extra large. I bought it in the regular extra large. So I bought those and, and then, and this, th these are, this one's a little different. However, I did, you know, I really liked these navy pants that I bought in the extra, extra large. So I was sure to add just the extra large and these pants, and I also tried them on, so here you go. I'm pretty excited. It feels good to not always have to get out of the plus size section, you know what I'm saying? So there you go. So you can see how these are the cropped ones, how they come up on me a little bit. Bear in mind, I am 5'2", okay? So those seven, eight, seven eighths, those, I pulled those up on my shins. They really come to my ankles, <laughs> okay? I'm short. So I'm so happy to be in a regular extra large. And the reason why I'm calling it regular extra large, because it's opened up the doorway to options of more clothing. Because at least at Old Navy, which by the way, in my opinion, Old Navy runs a little big. But uh, in the Old Navy clothes, they give more. They give more options in the, in the women's as opposed to the women plus. So now I will have more options to some. I really like Old Navy. I think they're somewhat decent priced when they run sales. Um, and I've always liked their workout pants. Will I someday maybe own some Lululemons? Maybe. Something about spending a lot of money on a pair of workout pants just doesn't sound good to me though. I'd rather buy a purse, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so that's it. That's all I bought, just workout pants in those around the, now around the house pants. I am, I don't know what I feel about those wide leg pants. Meaning, is that shit coming back in style? Because I don't know that I want to wear that out in public. I like my leggings. I'm never going to be able to let go of leggings. It's going to take me a while. If, that, if leggings go out of style, I'm going to be in trouble because you don't even want to know how many pair I have in that damn closet behind me. I like them. I just look better in leggings. I still like the boot cut, flared leg look. And I know it's kind of sneaking back in. I just don't know how ready I am. <laughs> But I'm not going to lie. They always flattered me more. That is the truth. I don't know. We'll see. But right now, I care about workout pants. And speaking of which, it's time for me to work out. So I got to go on that note. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I would love for you to subscribe. Give me a like. Listen. Okay. Just because you're 40 and above doesn't mean we have to act like old fucks. We don't. 
we don't have to. I'm not growing old gracefully and in the respect of I will always be immature, okay? Ball breaking, sarcastic, because this is what keeps us young, all right? On top of taking care of yourself and manifestation, of course. But um, on that note, listen, okay? If you wanna hang out with somebody who's 48 years old and acts like a child, please come back and see me, okay? I try to upload at minimum once a week over here. I know that's not a lot and someday, when I have my schedule actually making sense, I would love to add more uploads to this, more like have a schedule of more than one video a week. I would. Um, it's just that I upload pretty much every day on my other channel, which is Manifesting with Kimberly. If you are interested in the law of attraction, law of assumption or manifestation in general, please come over and subscribe and join me over there. We have a fabulous time. It is my own personal fellowship of limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs. We are the head bitch in charge of our reality. You can change the B to be something you would prefer if you don't like bitch. Okay, I like bitch. Um, but yeah, we're over there. We're manifesting. Hence me manifesting weight loss. I will make a video on that. But this is my other life. That's why it's called Kimberly's Love. I'm rambling because I'm in the mood to talk today. On that note, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all in a week or tomorrow on my other channel. So yeah.